six of us went down into the pit. Hello YouTube, hello humans. Matt Belt Jonesy here with another ultimate guide to destiny. And this time it's how to do the bridge. So the second part of Crota's End and uh, I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown on how you can jump and do this bridge either solo or with a team. So first of all I'll just show you how you do it with my Warlock solo. Um, this is one of several ways that you can do it. Um, but yeah, it really depends on your class and which uh, character you're most happy with. But here's a second way with my Hunter. Uh, a very different version. There are three ways, three or four ways you can get across here. But we're going to this safe, well, safe-ish spot and sitting here um, around the corner now again depends on your class um, what would be the best for you it also depends um, on whether you have the sword bearers touch available for the raid gear um, this will give you extra height on the bridge itself and when you do the jumps themselves and you can get the raid gear by either completing the lamps or yes if you can complete this with your friends or somebody does it for you you'll pick the greaves up for any of your classes from here so let's start off with the first run through so initially i did it with um, a few other of my friends and uh, i just passed it through on normal and you can see the end of the lamps there when we were just uh, shooting everything in sight uh, and then we jump into the bridge um, area okay so first of all what we're going to do we're not going to do it the correct way um, we're going to get one of us we're all going to basically get our uh, if you've got need one Lord warlock who's going to self res we're all going to shoot the sword bearer and then we are go to uh, touch the pad shoot the sword bearer and then MVP first of all is going to jump across the gap um, now level 32 is always best to do this but we're going to jump across the gap you can get a couple of you across the easiest going to be um, after the nerf you need to get everybody needs to be dead on this side otherwise the thralls are not going to uh, spawn on the other side so the sword bearer goes down MVP grabs the sword and then I'll just get rid of that for all. And then he's doing a jump and he watch him his tight and he jumps up in the air and then swipes across. Now once he gets past the invisible barrier, the architecture, he's gonna roll up the side and run up this bit of rock. And he's gonna jump and then he's gonna jump up and then he's gonna sit behind the little post, little safe area I was. Uh, you can kill the uh, gatekeeper on the other side but he's going to sit there and then another one is just going to try so yeah once um, he's across the sword bearer is going to come out again this time I'm going to do it I'm going to run across and shoot him up give him a quick gallow horn there drops the sword pick it up and then I'm going to run here I am in my titan which should be run I do it to the left of the bridge last bit on the actual glowy bit and then i'm going to swipe swipe as quick as i can swipe all the way over to the left hand side and then i'm going to come back right and then when i hit the top i'm going to jump and that's going to allow me to get up onto this side run around the corner and here's my safest area now i see the gatekeeper here so i want to take him out three hits on your right trigger and he's dead now the other safe area is up the back here. This is the way you can do it solo. If you sit up the back here, you can just take out all the thralls and all the hallowed knights, um, wait for the ogres to spawn, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to complete um, this run solo. So just to recap, currently you can see there's four people over the other side. There's two of us on this side. Now thralls aren't going to spawn correctly until everybody over the other side is dead so what's going to happen is everybody's going to die jump off the back while we do this and me and MVP here are going to basically be the only ones left once they're all dead the warlock is going to self res 
and once uh, the Rorlox is self rezzed he's going to then revive everybody else and then they're going to snipe across and they're going to kill all the uh, thralls if these be now we can just stay on the side and shoot them all out do it ourselves and they can all just jump off and die it makes no difference if you haven't got a warlock um, but everybody on the other side has to be dead before the ogres will spawn and then once the ogres have spawned you all you need to do is to kill both ogres one goes comes on the left one comes on the right um, if you see where Azura Knight is at the moment that's the optimum spot to hit both of the ogres um, so you can do it with two people if you want to uh, one of you jumps across the other one snipes from the other side um, and the bridge is done once it's popped um, you will get either a piece of raid gear depending on what uh, level you're going to do it on here's me down with on hard level with the frauds in the background see there's an ogre there there's an ogre there you can see both of those ogres snap those two out and you're done now if you're on hard you, if you do get seen by these ogres they will just punish you and so will the wizards so it's best to just stand there and sit there and do nothing uh, if you're a hunter you can go invisible and uh, yep yeah, easy enough there you do it there it is once again the uh, bridge done any questions please put it in the comments uh, please like and subscribe as per usual and uh, this is about, about Josie signing off on another Destiny Ultimate Guide Crossing the Bridge. Six of us went down into the If you got this far, why not give me a like and subscribe?